So we'll take some questions. Have um, school districts been in touch with you about understanding how schools are working? Yeah, I, th I think uh, so. We get that question asked a lot. And I Just think repeat the question. Uh, so the question was: Do do school districts contact us about what's working in our format? Um, I think in the early days it was kind of n not not that collaborative, but I think what what we're starting to see and what we're starting to do is um, we we collaborate, we meet with them a lot. They share their best practice with us, and we share ours. I think what will happen over the next couple of years, I think Skillshare will be one of dozens, if not hundreds, of companies um, where they'll try different formats around teaching and learning that will start working, that will hopefully influence the way traditional education is done. Um, so the last question is something that you know I definitely take very seriously or personally. Um, you know, when I have kids, I don't have kids yet. When I have kids, I'm not sending them to traditional education at all. And I hope by the time that, you know, 10, 15 years down the road, there is something else that's created that supports a different type and a different way of learning. Another question? Are you familiar with the concept of the flipped classroom? Yes. Yeah. So the question is, do I uh, understand the concept of, or do I, have you heard of the, the concept of flipped classroom? So for those of you that know, the flipped classroom is basically reversing lecturing. Um, so this guy named Salman Khan really popularized it. Um, he became, uh, if you go to Khan Academy, uh, he creates these lectures and they're very well put together. Um, they, they get hundreds of millions of views all around the world. But the flipped classroom is the students watch the lectures at home. And they come to school and they do homework sets and their homework problems together. Um, and that little flip and that little twist um, really changed the way a lot of kids learn. You know, when you're really young, they found that you know, if you get really frustrated and you can't solve a problem, you, you just quit. Um, what they're starting to see with the flipped cl uh, classroom model, other students are starting to help. The teacher could find out where students are stuck and go there and help them directly. Um, so we took some best practices and learnings from that and applied it um, to this adult model. So um, I th hopefully there's more things like that that happen that you know, people share and steal ideas from each other and it just becomes a lot better. Question? Yeah, so the question is, how do we know that this style of learning is better or improved upon the other style? Um, I don't know. Um, what I would say is I know the way to teach people and the new skills that are created, it has to be in a different way. And it can't be sitting in a room lecturing. And I really is proven through a lot of research that traditional education teaches kids out of creativity. Um, so I don't think this is ever going to replace any other way of learning. I think. It could just be another option that a teacher could use. And um, if it starts working, it should be widely accepted. Um, so one thing we do look is, you know, do students create the things they're supposed to create? So rather than passing an exam, what can you actually show that prove that you learned the skill that you could? Um, so for the sneaker class, it's sneaker sketches. For the jewelry class, it's actually showing the jewelry they made. Uh, we have a lot of programming classes. A lot of the programmers will submit code to GitHub. And they'll use that as a new form of their resume. Um, I, I, I think things like that will start happening. Um, so it's less about saying you went to the school and had this 3.8 GPA, and more about showing and proving that you have the skills that you claim you have. One more question. Anyone? Yeah, so the question is around certification in education and how do we envision that working with Skillshare in the future. Um, I think it's all through proof. Um, I think uh, the resume is literally going to get remade over the next three to five years um, across all industries. Um, I think um, this is probably one of the first times in the history that a huge group of college students really questioned their college degree. Um, and I think because of that, it had a lot of ripple effects. Uh, with them not getting jobs, with you know employers even questioning, um, you know the the applicants are getting as well. So I think that's going to be completely redefined. What that looks like, I have no idea. Uh, but I know in our world within Skillshare, it's all through proving and making and doing and failing and showing the stuff that you create. Um, whether it's a financial model, whether it's a business plan, whether it's creating a company. I mean, you could go across the gamut. Um, I think that's a you know probably a better way to learn on the internet as well. Have you considered a a kind of gaming system for grading, 
where maybe the, their, their grades that, that are determined by the, the crowd, by the other people in the classroom? Yeah, I th I, so the question's around grading, and I think um, it's a very, I mean, our, our take on that is a very old school model of education where people compete with each other, and one person has to be better than the next. Um, I think what we're starting to see is students are just, you know, we have, a, you know, students like other projects, they upvote them, they show support. Um, and for a lot of the stuff that gets created, especially around the new skills that are needed in the world today, it's so subjective. Um, so who, like, what makes this guy the guy that says your work is really good um, versus, you know, letting it, you know, thrive in the open, you know, platform and marketplace, which is the internet. So we're starting to see a lot of that. We're starting to see a lot more collaboration. And we're starting to see a lot of people, a lot more people learning a lot of skills they would never learned. Um, we're not saying this is the right format. We're just saying it's a format that we try that started to work. And we hope that it starts to continue to work on the internet as well. Terrific. Well, thank you very much. You, so our speakers, the way that this works is that our speakers will be around after the presentations. So you'll be able to ask all your questions directly to them. And uh, let's thank him. Michael, Skillshare.